All right, let's get started. Today is Wednesday, December 26, 2018. This is the Kubernetes CSI implementation meeting. We have a very short, uh, small audience today. Just me, Saad, and Luis. Um, so let's see. Uh, for remaining 113 tasks, We've cut all the sidecars. Um, however, there's still some RBACs and documentation that needs to be cleaned up for the um, new node driver registrar and cluster driver registrar. Okay. Um, I will look into um, I'll look into the node driver registrar in terms of uh, to see if everything has been has been done here. Um, and then once that's done, I can cherry pick all the changes to uh, the 1.0 branch and then cut a new 1.0 with the updated documentation. Um, for the cluster driver register, I think Hamat or Vlad were going to take a look at this, but they're probably not around. So this might be, um, we'll have to probably pick this up next week. Okay. The current releases for both of those are okay to use, though? Yeah. So the current images are fine to use. It's just <clears throat> the documentation and the, the specs and examples like don't really work. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, with, that's the status on all the sidecars. Um, the secret logging stuff is um, ready. Uh, it's been implemented in all the sidecars for 1.0 and also 0.3 specs. Um, all the sidecars have been cut and released. Um, we just need to make a public announcement now, um, we'll, and we can probably do that next week um, once people are back. Um, we might want to, I don't know if we should go through um, the security team to like, F figure out the right channels to make an announcement. Should we just send it to six storage or do we need to send it to the committee of? So. Follow up on that email that we sent to Kubernetes security. Yeah. So let's, um, Um, and that's that. Let's see. Um, next uh, is uh, cleanup work from splitting up the driver registrar. We need to transfer all of the issues and the PRs to the new repos. Um, Luis, is this something you might have time to look at? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, let's see how we can do this. I'm trying to figure out if we can distribute the work instead of having one person do it. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, that work may be stale, some may not be. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if uh, we just put in each one something like, you know, leave it up to the author to say, hey, please move this to this or close it. Right? Yeah. So I think um, there's two things, like for, ish, for all the issues that are open, yeah. we should go through them, see if they're still relevant. If they're still relevant, we can copy or you know create a new issue in the in the relevant repo, and then reference to the old issue and then close the old issue. Um, <clears throat> for PRs, we'll have to look at the PRs to see if it's still relevant or not, and then we can if it's still relevant, we can ask the author to to move it to the new repo. Yeah, that's the part I'm trying to um, be careful on is how do we define relevant. 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 <laughs> like, is it still fixing something that needs to be fixed? That's what I mean. It's like, uh, who decides? Like, I, I'm, I am trying to say, say, I don't know if I should be the one that decides that this should be fixed or not, right? Um, I'm, that may be too much uh, power for me. Um, what, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, uh, um, Maybe we can all look at it, or or I'm trying to give the author that power instead. I'm sure. Say, hey. then maybe it's good enough to just you know have a comment saying, yeah. um, "We've moved the repositories. If you still want to make yes. 
a PR than you know create a PR off of the new ones. Perfect. That's what I, that's what I'm thinking of doing because then I give I empower the author to say oh, you can continue doing it. If not yeah. saying this is closed. So. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah, okay? that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the next outstanding item is sync, uh, updating the host path driver examples. I think Vlad is still in the middle of doing that. We'll probably have to pick that up next year as well. Um, updating the PD E2E test to use the latest stuff. Um, Chang is doing this up as part of his PR. I think his PR needs to be rebased after um, Patrick's changes went in. So I think uh, we'll have to pick this up uh, next week as well. And last item is updating all our documentation. Oh, uh, keep an eye out for the PRs this week. All right. Uh, they're in progress. Okay. I started putting stuff together. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about right now is uh, creating a bunch of extra PRs in a bunch of different repos for the documentation for each sidecar. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it because we don't do that for Kubernetes, Kubernetes. I think we started that way in Kubernetes, Kubernetes, and then the docs team decided to pull all of this docs out of Kubernetes, Kubernetes, and put them into a separate repo. And going in the reverse might not be a good idea because mm. of that. Interesting. Uh, I agree. Is it possible to have the docs team, maybe we can use their same model I, you know, yeah, when we started, model is just they have one repo. They put everything in that repo, and then they cut branches, and then each branch uh, allows for each branch basically results in a separate website. Yeah. Is it is it can we use their utilities and their servers and stuff like that? Because we're starting to be, become more official. Yeah. I mean, that would be great. Uh, it'll require closer collaboration with them. So I think first up, let's get our content onto this mm -hmm. original site. Okay. Um, for the sake of minimizing the number of PRs, I'm just going to put the content on the same website. Okay. And then we can figure out if we want to split it out into separate repos or we want to where we want to take it next. Yeah. So um, okay. So maybe let me summarize this. Um, the plan is to. Uh, document everything in the in the docs site. Mm -hmm. Plan is to document everything in the docs site. Um, um, similar to Kubernetes IO, and we need to branch. Figure out how to branch stuff. Yeah. I guess the other challenge though is that for like documenting Kubernetes, everything's in the same repository. Whereas in our case, like each of our sidecars is its own individual repository. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we probably need both. Okay, I think that'd be okay. We can start with this and yeah. then split it out as needed. Maybe, okay. I think it's gonna be hard to uh, branch we only have one output website. It may, it's easier to branch when you have different websites, like maybe like uh, different trees or different uh, slash whatever. Yeah, uh, that's that's how Kubernetes.io does it. They, no, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why I want to move to their model. But our uh, compiler thing only outputs, and we only have one website and one compiler, right? It, it only outputs one thing. It doesn't understand, like, if you have multiple branches, it, that doesn't uh, work well with the model today. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yes. So we'll probably have to, maybe figuring out a proper branching model will be a more long-term item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we have a proper <clears throat> branching mechanism, then we don't need to put it into each one of the repos. And one of the reasons we kind of put it in the repos is so we can do branching. I mean, you could do uh, like a fake branching by <clears throat> by um, having the index have the uh, Kubernetes version, you know, mm -hmm. at the top level, 
and then inside of that you have all the documentation and then i mean it's kind of fake but that's how the website this website works it's it's a single book right yeah think about it <clears throat> yeah i think there's some implications of breaking um search web crawlers and things like that oh yeah i'm sure I, i'm just saying that this is how this website works yeah I think uh, the high level takeaway is we'll just have to sync up with the docs team and get their advice on how best to do it since they're the experts on this. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Okay, those are our um, outstanding 113 items. Um, going back up to miscellaneous stuff, um, we have a uh, 112 issues with the plugin watcher. Has this, this PR still outstanding? Um, I approved this just. Oh, you know. okay. So hopefully it will go in soon. Oh, wait, is it missing? Oh, we it's need missing an approval. We need somebody from Kubelet. Okay. Uh, if you do or someone's around, maybe we can get them to do it. Yeah. All right. And then we have these flaky reconstruction tests that Jing was looking at. Um, do you know the status um, of that? Last I talked to her, she was suspecting an issue with the driver coming up uh, or not coming up, um, and she was trying to figure it out. So she's looking at the plug-in watcher. Okay. Um, if that is the issue, most likely the solution is that reconciler that we wanted. Oh, yeah. Uh, because yeah, if you basically, if you miss an event, uh, a registration or deregistration, then you're kind of out of sync with the real mm -hmm. state and we need to be more robust. Yeah. All right. Well, it seems like these tests are actually, well, I don't know. Okay. Um, let's get a final word yep. from her, but that's the preliminary. All right. Um, so that is everything we have on the agenda today. Is there anything else someone wants to talk about? I just wanted to bring up that I my involvement in the month of January is going to be lower. Okay. So just giving you a heads up. Um, All right, no problem. Try, so, but I should be back hopefully by February. Cool. All right. Uh, happy holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Have a holidays. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye. bye.